he became a brigadier, and the youngest general officer in South America, in 1948. He was 36 at the time. He, he enrolled in the Francisco Lopez Military Academy in 1929, and received his commission as a lieutenant in the Paraguayan Army in 1931. He engaged in extramarital affairs before and during his presidency. According to some sources, some of his affairs were with teenage girls as young as 13, and he may have fathered over 30 illegitimate children. He, under Stressner, Paraguay became a refuge for Nazi war criminals. Given his affinity for Nazism and harboring Nazi war criminals, the foreign press often referred to his government as the poor man's Nazi regime. His political instincts only failed him once, when he found himself on the wrong side of a coup attempt in 1948, and had to be driven to the Brazilian embassy in the boot of a car, he got the nickname, Colonel Drunk, following this incident. His father was called Hugo Stressner, who emigrated from Hof, in Bavaria, in Germany and worked as an accountant for a brewery. His mother was called Heriberta Mashorda who grew up in a wealthy Paraguayan family of criollo Spanish descent. On February 3, 1989, six months after being sworn in for his eighth term, he was ousted in a coup led by General Andres Rodriguez, his close friend for over 30 years. Many of the generals feared one of Stresner's sons would succeed him. He spent 33% of Paraguay's 1962 annual budget on the army and police. 15% for education, and 2% for public works. There was also no income tax and Paraguay's public spending made up the smallest percentage of any country's gross domestic product in Latin America. It's often said that the Roman Catholic Church is the only reason he did not have absolute control over Paraguay. After the destruction of Asuncion University in 1972 by police, the Archbishop of Paraguay, Ismael Roland Silvero, excommunicated the Minister of the Interior and the Chief of Police, and prescribed the celebration of Holy Mass as a protest against the Stresner regime. Stresner initiated several economic development projects, including construction of the Ataipu Dam. The construction of the Ataipu Dam displaced thousands of Paraguayans, pushing them from their homes, usually without compensation. The Ataipu Dam displaced at least 80,000 Paraguayans with 160 workers dying during the construction beginning in January 1971 until opening in May 1984. Throughout his reign, no socialist countries had diplomatic relations with Paraguay, with the sole exception of Yugoslavia. He did make many state visits to Japan, the United States, France and South Africa. He also made several visits to West Germany although through the years relations with them also deteriorated. Since he had always been pro-German, Stressner saw this worsening of relations, combined with his feelings that the U.S. had abandoned him, as a personal blow. Stressner objected to President Federico Chavez's plans to arm the national police and removed him from office in a coup on May 4, 1954. After a brief interim presidency by Thomas Romero, Alfredo Stresner was the only candidate in a special election held on July 11 to complete Chavez's term. He was re-elected seven times, in 1958, 1963, 1968, 1973, 1978, 1983 and 1988. Soon after taking office in 1954, Stresner placed Paraguay under a state of siege and suspended civil liberties. The state of siege provisions allowed the government to detain anyone indefinitely without trial, and forbade public meetings and demonstrations. This was renewed every 90 days until 1987. Although it technically only applied to Asuncion after 1970, the Paraguayan courts ruled that anyone charged with security offenses could be brought to the capital and charged under the state of siege provisions even if the offence took place outside the capital.